And today marks World Press Freedom Day. And what a better day to reveal the winner of DW's Freedom of Speech Award. This year, we are honoring an investigative journalist from Nigeria. From an early age, she stood up for women's rights and called out injustices. We caught up with her to talk about some of her most challenging investigations. Few things excite Tabore Avori more than finding a good story. I've seen a story reps to probe 1.2 billion dollar illegal trade in male sexual organ. Avori has been speaking up against injustice since she was a little girl. Encouraged by her father, she decided to become an investigative journalist. I watched women being ill-treated. I watched children being treated unjustly. I watched the innocents being punished. And those who were not innocent were walking freely. That's the environment I'm coming from. So that really laid the foundation for what I do now. Wanting to give voice to the voiceless with the power of the written word. Of Wari's work sometimes involves changing her identity. All her stories affect her personally, but none of them impacted her life as much as her 2013 investigation into Nigeria's human trafficking mafia. The story unfolded on this street, Allen Avenue, a popular hotspot for prostitution. For seven months, Avwari was an undercover sex worker here. It was the toughest, most frightening and most challenging investigation, one she wasn't prepared for. She was raped, abused, and saw two people beheaded in front of her. I slid into depression. There was the trauma, then post-traumatic stress, disorder, anxiety and panic attacks. At some point, it graduated, I became suicidal. Are there also investigations? Of warriors still recovering from that experience. Her story served as the inspiration for the Netflix film Olo Ture. She's made several other award-winning investigations and as adamant, she's not stopping anytime soon. And for more, we are joined now here in the studio by DW's Director General, Peter Lindbergh. Uh, thank you so much for joining us on the program. Why is it so important for DW to honor journalists like Tabori Ovori, who we just saw in that report? Well, Tabori Ovori belongs to the kind of people who bring light into darkness, uh, where some people don't want to have any light. And I think this is uh, a very courageous uh, woman and uh, colleague, and I think she really deserves um, not only for her for for her compassion, but also for for the for the challenges she she has to uh, pass through d during her work. So I think uh, uh, she deserved this. And uh, journalism in Africa isn't very very easy uh, sometimes, um, or most of the times. And uh, journalism in these kind of areas where it, uh, is around human trafficking um, and a lot of criminal people around there. So this is really dangerous and uh, she's a really courageous woman. And with all that in mind, I mean, there, there are so many journalists doing so much amazing work, not only in Africa, but also beyond around the world. Um, how does DW choose a winner every year? Well, we do it uh, among our colleagues of, of, around the, uh, the management and we get uh, always some, some hints from, from all over the organization. We broadcast around the world. So I think uh, our departments of language know a lot of uh, great journalists and they propose uh, the ones for us. And uh, this time it was uh, Tabori Ovori and uh, we, we very soon agreed that this one uh, is a, is a good choice and especially I think uh, human trafficking is a topic uh, where we as Westerners, as Europeans, have a great responsibility because it wouldn't happen if we weren't here as Westerners and uh, um, we also are part of this story and we are not only looking downwards to, to, uh, to Africa, to the south and, and see something which is unjust but we also, the clients are here in Europe and in, in America and the West and all around the world or in the Gulf. So I think the responsibility is very high and I'm, I'm really happy that we, that we found such a great award winner. 
And um, the announcement of this award today, World Press Freedom Day, it's coming against the backdrop, in fact, of a poignant reminder of the, of the dangers that some journalists face while reporting around the world. In fact, um, our very own Marion, Mario Muller um, was wounded last weekend in Nairobi during a protest. Uh, she was covering for Deutsche Welle. We're going to have a look at the video and then speak with you thereafter. <laughs> What does this say about the freedom to report for journalists around the world? First of all, it says that journalism is getting more and more dangerous. Um, and uh, it's a really shocking example to see our colleague being, being hit by, by tear gas, um, cartouches um, and uh, canisters. And I think this is really not acceptable. And uh, I can't understand why the Kenyan authorities um, haven't reacted yet. I mean, it happened 48 hours ago. So we're still waiting for the Kenyan authorities to react on this. And uh, I, I'm not only waiting for an apology or something, I, I, I'm waiting for something to happen that this has consequences because this is not acceptable. She has been acting absolutely uh, according to, to all the rules. Uh, and she was just uh, doing an interview with people uh, in the streets uh, who are protesting, who were protesting against COVID measures. And this is not acceptable what has been, what we see there. The video, certainly shocking, uh, one has to say. What kind of impact, more broadly speaking, if you just put this now into the big picture for us, um, you know, this kind of quality journalism that, you know, journalists are often doing in difficult circumstances, what does it have on society, in your view? I think free journalism is absolutely vital for, for societies because uh, we can bring stories which you normally don't see and uh, which bring, in, in good cases, um, helps societies to get better. And uh, this is why we are doing our job at DW here, why our brave correspondents and other colleagues are doing this job. And uh, I think we can have a good impact on societies with journalism. DW Director General Peter Limburg joining us in the studio this morning. Always great to see you, especially on this World Press Freedom Day as the winner of DW's Freedom of Speech Award has been announced. Many thanks. Thank you, Sarah.